Hi guys, uh, let's see today the 3D menu session and we have a basic session on here on 3D. Uh, take the new document and just take it the new document here and we have the layers palette here and just take a horizontal type tool. Click it here and make it 3D. Control T. Transform the 3D option. I would like to make it as a 3D uh, extrude option here and go to the 3D menu. Make it as a new 3D extrude uh, extrusion from selected layer. Just click it. Then we can see the. Yes, then we can see the 3D uh, like the 3D view and we can see the a prospective view here and we have a different type of views like left view and top view. And here we have a front view like this. We can see the views and here we have the 3D uh, three dimensional like interface and we have the options here like the rotation and sliding. And panning like dragging. And this is the sliding and this is the scaling and these are the options and we can use these options from see if you want to scale the object just take a scaling and you can scale the a 3D object and we can see the text 3D or the extrude shape here we, we can see directly and would like to rotate this object with a 3D rotation and like this we can use the 3D rotation and these are the angles on the 3D select the object and you can see the angles see the circle you can see here and you can rotate it like this like this and come to the just roll it here and just scale the object Keep the mouse then you can see the circles in the in the center of the origin. And make it some. Moment. And slide. Slightly. Just drag it from one place to another place. OK, and these are the things I would like to add any material 3D extrusion. The colors we can see here. You can double click here. And we can see the materials here. You can change the color. See, we can see the change the color of the extrusion. And the speculars, the styles. And you can take the illuminations. And ambience, the glow, like this, and we can change the color. Come to the layers, the bevel material, double click, and the shining, and the reflection, roughness, the bumping. You can see all the effects on the 3D and come to the layer palette and I would like to rotate it. And pan it. And you would like to view the output. Come to the 3D. If you want to group all the screen, you can group all the screen. And you would like to ungroup all the objects. You can ungroup all the objects. And these are the common things and moving and grouping new mesh layer. 
and the same 3D shape you would like to keep it into the uh, mesh preset like donut, cylindrical cube, whatever maybe that we can see in the next session. And here the split expressions and make it with the render. And which one is the render output and export the 3D layer means you can export the 3D layer with the dimensions for this one and the ground plate or scene, whatever may be. You can select it and make it. What is the format guys here? We have the different type of formats of 3D object for the Flash 3D, Google Earth, Collabdraw, 3D, PDF, Virtual. These are the predefined uh, presets you, you can export. You have you can export this 3D shape exactly into this a different uh, applications like different tools. OK, like 3D PDF, Google Earth, Flash 3D, Collada like this. OK, these are the original formats. And if you need a only the common format like texture format like JPG, you can save it as a JPG also. And come to the. 3D. Shapes splits render. If you want to give a render, it's take a lot of time, guys. Just make it. Please check it once. Keep it as a render. It's a little bit of late process, but the process will be done. Let me check it. Let me see the rendering process, guys. Just two minutes. Like this, the output will come with a 3D and it's still a uh, rendering process. It's happening, guys. And like this, the process will be there. See, if you want to select this one, I would like to remove the 3D means you can select the 3D options here and you can delete directly. The option like 3D. Like this, OK, and uh, come to here. And I would like to go with the 3D and new mesh layer and mesh presets like cube. Automatically it will be placed in the cube option. Make it as a 3D cube and select this one. Select this one. Select this one. Make it with some materials. Just double click. And select this one and make it some colors. And just double click the views, what the views we are using. And you can select the view and you can change it as a. And you can do like this. And you can rotate. The scaling option. If you check the view, just click it and make it with bottom view. And the back views and the left views like this. And you can just close the things and again take one more document and take text. And select this one. And go to the 3D new mesh layer, mesh presets. I need to give it as a hat. The text will be flow on the hat like this. See, and you can select this one, guys, and make it with some color. Like this and make it shining and the ambience. So this is the only the option where we are we can use and we can design and just select it and make it uh, options like this 
Oh shit, sorry. This is the basic options guys for 3D and please learn the 3D and just 3D option. If you go, if you go directly, you can take the hat ring directly. You can see the 3D options only. Automatically we can switch the 3D view and we can see the options and we can rotate it here like that like this and select it and just double click make it light and shadow and I can rotate just pan it and scale it and just rotate it and make it with filter filter gallery oh, sorry 3d just render it's take a time friends like this we have to take a objects and we can take the objects and we can take the uh, uh text and we can place it the text into the objects and we can create a 3d effect on the text like this we can place it and the the sync the things what we are seeing some options we will use we we, uh, we don't use the some of the options but 3d only to control this is not a pure 3d friends we we have a different tools like 3d uh, 3ds max and uh, maya and mudbox and Google Earth and uh, AutoCAD. We have the different options for 3D, but this is only the basic level we have seen here. And control view and uh, window. These are the menus, common menus. Like I'm just taking a new open to create a new, just to control plus O to open the documents. Like control plus zoom in and control minus zoom out. Control plus zoom in and control minus zoom out and control zero to fit the document control one actual pixels this is the view menu and just a second These are the options guys. Control plus zoom in the document. Control minus zoom out the document. Control zero to fit the document. Control one to fit 100% print visible. Here we have the options. Control plus zoom in. Control minus zoom out. Fit on the screen. And 100% it's control one. 200% means it will be zoom. And fits, uh, print size means 100%. Okay. And what is the shortcuts to give the full screen guys? And the shortcut is F, F, F. See, we can't see the layers. We can't see the tools also. And what is to exit the full screen? F only. To, to open the full screen, F. To exit the full screen, again, F. Okay. And smart guides and rulers, controller. If you want to do some work, guys, then you have to make it the guidelines. And 
and take the pen tool and you can make it the shapes here. Like it, we can create the shapes. After completing these rulers, you can select it and you can put it in the same back place like this. And you have taken more rulers. You have taken more rulers. So many rulers you have taken from the horizontally and vertically. I have to remove at a time or I have to hide it. View. See. These are the guidelines. These are the guidelines. I can lock the guides. The guides will not be selected. See. The guideline will not be selected. By means could not use the motel because the layer is locked. And view. See. Remove the lock guides and I can change the guides position and I would like to just keep it into the same place on the guidelines. And what is the shortcut of the rulers? Control R. Here we have the rulers. OK, I would like to clear all the rulers at a time. Clear guides. You have the option here, clear guides. OK, these are the options and make it window. See what is the window menu guys? We have to see the character panel, channels panel, color panel and history panel and make it with the uh, uh, notes, the comment box panel and properties panel, spatches panel, layers panel, paths palette panel, paths channels, layers. Already we saw 3D panel. Everything we have seen, okay? Everything we have seen, the glyphs panel, these are the shapes. OK, the same options we already what we have seen here. The same options we can see here as a palettes. OK, if you miss the palette here, you can open directly in the Windows palette. OK, help is nothing but help is if you want anything, you can take the help option from the Internet and you can take it and you can work on it. Any doubts guys? Please be practice. If you have any doubts, you can you can practice more and more. Anything doubts?